Hello everybody, back on the 18th of last month, I dropped the stairs off at the butcher shop. I had them hang for 14 days, just for the aging process. And they called me, said that everything is ready for pickup. So, here. so I'll pick up a side. Well, a side means that's a half of the cow. So I'll pick up a side, drop off the two quarters, and then I'll come back and pick up another side and uh, drop those off. So let's go and make this happen. I have picked up the steer from the butcher shop and just as an example of what's in the boxes here's a three pound chuck roast all of these are individually packaged vacuum seal here's a New York strip steak you have here a round steak then obviously there's the one pound uh, ground beef and what I did this time, I had some hamburger patties made, half pound hamburger patties. So that's one pound, two burger patties, half pound each. Some more rib steak and a whole lot of assortments that are down in this box. So there are multiple boxes of assorted meat, all individually packaged, vacuum sealed ready for the freezer you can take out a piece and cook it grill it but oh my goodness this is my first time doing these burgers and they are very good awesome good but that's what it got in these boxes and that's what it looks like I know a lot of people are thinking that they're gonna get the just a big old slab of a side of beef and they have to cut it up and process it themselves or take it to the butcher shop but nope, everything is done here for you. This is just a sample. In the other boxes, there will be the, the short ribs. There will be the other cuts of meat. But all of the different cuts are here. But it's awesomely good. Grass fed. None of that crazy junk that you get from the grocery store meat. It's pretty nice. When you look on these packages, they all say not for sale. I've had a few people ask me about that. Pretty much in a nutshell, the way I understand it and the way it was explained to me, when you make your reservation for the butcher shop, you would have to let them know whether you want your meat inspected or whether it's a custom process. If it's custom, then it will get labeled not for sale. But if you want to resale at a farmer's market or individual cuts, you will let them know that, hey, I need this inspected. The inspector will go through the meat. Uh, what all they do additional, I do not know. It, I do know there's no additional charge. It's just an additional process that the inspector does. And they can go ahead and label it that it has been inspected. And then you will not have this stamp not for sale. But as it is now, this meat is not, you know, inspected, but it's still a good animal because we know it was born, raised, fed right here on my place. So I could have just as well said, hey, uh, I want this animal inspected for sale. It would not have, not for sale, it would have an inspected stamp. And I can take that to a farmer's market or wherever for individual sale but since I do not do individual sales I have that labeling so that's what's going on there if that's something that somebody saying well hey I would rather have it inspected they can go ahead and request that their animal be inspected or if they are selling at a flea market or selling individual cuts they can go ahead and get the inspection get the correct labeling and they'll be ready for everything but i'm going to close this up put it back in the freezer because it's starting to ice up sitting out with the freezer door open but that's what's going on there folks have yourselves a wonderful day and i'll talk with you later
Bye-bye.